welcome back. Uh, a bit of exciting news today for you. Um, we're extending the workshop. So basically I'm going that way um, by about 9 to 10 feet, uh, sort of 2 point what? 2.7 meters, something like that. Um, so yeah, exciting. So we've got, uh, as I said, some new, some new machines in. Um, I've also got a lot of stuff still in storage that I'm still bringing, like I said, bringing bits and pieces, you know, like the the bedstock for the, the box, but there's other, there's other machines as well to come. Um, so we just need a bit more space, and with the more space, there's going to be a complete reash um, of the machines, so I'm going to try and get them all sort of in one place, so it's, you, know, you can sort of move between a bit more economically, um, that's that's the idea. Um, so we just uh, we started with the concrete base, obviously. Uh, to build on and uh, here's a few pictures just showing what we've been up to so there's the shutter in uh, and it's all blinded off with some sand just to make a nice uh, nice uh, depth to it um, and also we're going to put some basically some plastic down if you will some waterproof membrane um, and obviously the sand will help then if there's any stones or anything so they won't puncture it so we get a nice nice waterproof um, base so I say so it's about uh, I think it's about 2.7 meters uh, in, in width and I think it's the, the length, which is about, I think, eight, eight and a half metres long, something like that. Um, while we, we were doing this, we've also run uh, some new power into the into the shed in the form of three phase. It's the cable here going in. Um, it, it's uh, the armor cable. It's, it's not finished yet, the, the fitting. We just sort of uh, put it up ready for the electricity to come and connect us all up. Um, so we've got the, the three phase coming in as well. So we can then run the machines on, on proper three phase. Some of the machines we have running on the, the, the um, converters, you know, the, the inverters at the moment, which work very, very well if, you know, if you're struggling, you, you know, from single phase supply, um, fully recommend them. But the thing is, if you get more than a sort of a, a machine or two in there, um, either go for the one of the rotary ones or get the three phase in, which is what we're doing. And so we just got the electrician coming to, to wire all that up for us properly. Um, so yeah, so we're doing the base, uh, so we're, we're more interested in the, the actual uh, extension we're doing. Uh, here's a little tamp we made just for, for going across uh, the gap there. And, uh, and then this is the actual after the pour. We didn't get any photographs during because uh, the barrel lads come, a uh, fantastic firm came uh, very quick. So we, we didn't really have time to take photographs. And at this point, I must thank a couple of friends who bob round as well uh, to give us a hand. Um, we, we would have struggled without them. Fantastic help uh, with with the rakes, etc., etc. While we were we were tamping away, so thanks very much. You know who you are. Thank you very much for that. Um, and that's it. So that's the the concrete all poured. It's temp. It's now setting as we speak. Um, as we're recording this, it's, it's now setting. We've got a, some sheets over it because just uh, showered a couple of times. Uh, but the sheets are keeping the water off. So fingers crossed. There, uh, everything should should go to plan. There we go. Uh, so a job done. So yeah, so we're bringing uh, new power into the place, and like I say, and we're we're building out uh, just like a lean to really more than anything uh, onto the onto the concrete base. Thought it'd be be brilliant. So over the next few weeks, um, we'll be getting that built, um, and fingers crossed, we'll try and get some machining jobs in there. Uh, but we'll also bring you some tips as well. Might start a new little series. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. Quick tips, you know, just uh, just little bits and pieces, which I tend to show during my videos. Um, but obviously they get missed in there, so I might try and go back through and select some of the, the tips that we give you uh, in the videos and just do them as a separate standalone video so you can reference straight back to it anytime you need it. So YouTube, as always, thank you very much for your support. Um, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to the channel if you've not already done so, it would be fantastic. And until next time, it'll be great.